Uh, she was locked up for molestation. Well, that's what she was accused for. Cause like back in the day, <clears throat> my, my house was like the party house. You know what I'm saying? In my hood, it was the party house. That's where everybody come kick it at. You got uh, all the kids from the um, neighborhood coming over there. Everybody dropping their kids off, dropping food off. So shit, uh, it was this one specific girl that she was watching. Uh, they had got into a little riff raff. Her mama accused my mom of touching her. And shit, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt me and my sister when we was young. That, that, that really was a big impact on our life, for real, for real. That fucked us up, so. And when she did that little time at jail, that's when we all separated, split it up, you know what I'm saying? I was older, so I had to go with my grandma, my sister and them, went with my aunties, you know? So, yeah. And it, it, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of threw everything off because, like, right at the point when we was, everything was going good, the police just come to the door and just take your mama. Like, I, that was the last time me seeing my mama for two years. You know what I'm saying? And I, and, and I felt guilty because I was the one who opened the door for the police. You know what I'm saying? But not knowing, I'm a kid. I ain't know no better. I'm just thinking they come, because they always come here. You know what I'm saying? We get violations. We get, you know, warnings or getting kicked out of shit like this. So I'm not knowing. I'm just opening the door, just being a bad kid. And, and once I opened the door, God damn it, the police came in, locked her up and shit. They took her down. I think I talked to her, like, right after that. She was like, I'm, um, I'm good. I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. Mm -hmm. And after that, I ain't talked to her ever since then. Like, I'd be writing her letters and shit, you know, crying and shit, young, at my auntie house, my grandma house, wherever I met, goddamn me. So, I was, uh, I, I remember like one time I had wrote, wrote her a letter and said some shit from a Tupac song, Mama, Dear Mama, some shit like that. And it was around Christmas and shit, and I, she couldn't um, be, be there with us for Christmas, so. That shit really hurt. Then I had to help my sisters out more, you know, because they was, they were, I'm 12, you gotta think, I'm 12. My sister and them, about 10, 8, 7, something like that. They young, you know what I'm saying? So, and all this coming to us, we having to grow up fast, you know what I'm saying? Being around my older cousins, shit, being places I ain't wanna be at at the time, so. That's, that basically explains my music, man, and what I be trying to get through to my fans, for real. Because I, I, I'm kind of like the person, I don't like to express my feelings, I express it through my music or my art, so that's basically what, you know, it's A1 story, man, I get it rough.